Hey everyone, so I'm back to tell you why I like to describe Onshape as the Google Docs of CAD software. So if you haven't seen my previous video about Onshape, um, click on the card up top to see that full overview of what Onshape can do, you know, how the, the sketching in CAD and how this free browser-based software is by far my favorite CAD software out there on the market today. So go check that out and sign up for a free account. But on this video, I want to tell you why I like to describe it as the Google Docs of CAD software. So if you aren't familiar with Google Docs, they basically took Word and Excel and all of these mainstream computer programs and made them available on the cloud so that multiple people can be working on the same documents and any changes that one person made is immediately reflected on your screen. So it's made it very easy to collaborate with many users. Now Onshape, I believe, does the same exact thing. They make it really easy to have multiple people not only viewing the same CAD files, but working side by side and able to create branches and do all kinds of amazing stuff that I've never seen before in a CAD program. So you can see that I have just Chrome, my normal Chrome browser, open up here. And then over on this side is a screencast of my Android device. So this is actually my Android smartphone here. And I'm going to show you how that kind of open collaboration works within Onshape. So if I open up a document, we'll go into a Dragon Radar, a cosplay prop that I am currently in the process of designing. And once we open this up, um, we'll see that it, it's just my normal Onshape browser. There's nothing special. There's nothing different when it's just you working on it. And if I jump over to uh, the part studio here so we can just see the case, um, you can see that this is the part studio. It's exactly what you'd expect. But over here on my Android device, if I open up Onshape, um, you can see that the Onshape app uh, shows the same documents that I had in my main Onshape. And if I go into the Dragon Radar, you'll notice first up here, we now have a C to say that there is someone else looking at this document. So the first thing you notice is you can see that there are multiple people looking at this document. So you can see uh, up here it will list all of the people looking at it. And down here at the bottom, you can see which tabs people are actively working in. So for instance, uh, it's saying that there is someone on the assembly because that's where I am on my Android app. But also on the Android app, you can see that there is a C next to the Dragon case because that's what I'm currently working, looking at on the browser. So that's cool and all. So let's switch my Android over to the uh, radar case so that we're looking at the same document. And I can show you how we can work side by side using Onshape. So now that everything's loaded, if I go over here and I start making changes, you'll see that any change that I make on one screen, on one instance, will be instantly reflected uh, on the other instance. So if I go here and I start hiding parts uh, on my Android app, you'll see that these parts also get hidden um, on my browser. And I can you know, continue to strip away parts uh, so any change that I make is reflected. It's not just in my smartphone or on the computer, but it's shipped up to the cloud and then sent out to everyone looking at that document. So that means that when you're sitting there in a meeting or you're trying to show someone um, a particular feature, uh, you can make changes and those will be reflected across. So it's not only visibility settings that are affected. Any change that one person makes will be shown to everyone else. So if I go into a sketch and I change this diameter from 5 inches to 6 inches, and click accept. Uh, once this is done, trying to figure out, you know, because it has, has to cascade those changes through the rest of the sketch, but once that's done, it'll appear over here on the Android screen. So one, any change one person makes is reflected across anyone else. And it makes it just really easy for multiple people working on the same sketch. And this doesn't only happen in part studios, it also happens in assemblies, so you can have multiple people working on the same assembly, making changes all collaborating together. No longer do you have to save a version of the file and then email that file over to someone else, and you know, you have all of this mismatch of, you know, which file is the latest, and, and you don't also have to worry about, you know, a file being locked to only one person, and you have to wait for their changes to go in before your changes can go in, and what if they need to roll their changes back and you still need your changes in? It it makes it really easy to work in a team with Onshape. And to further aid collaboration, there is a whole comment system. So if I'm leaving a comment saying uh, we need to make a particular change on one device, 
and you send the comment, that comment will be received over here. And you can see that, hey, I left a comment saying we need to make a change. And you can leave either general comments or you can tie comments directly to a, uh, a particular feature or sketch. Um, something over here in the feature tree, you can leave a comment on that and it will be uh, tagged with that tree. So you can use that to easily communicate with your team and it just furthers this view of collaboration, which is something I've never seen in a CAD package before. And if you're worried that having a lot of people uh, working on the same part may be a little confusing and you know some person makes a change while you're trying to make a change and there may be some kind of conflict, well, there is a whole version and branching system where you can branch off of and create multiple branches and then merge them all back together uh, so your changes can be isolated in a branch um, but that will be for another video so if you're in a team and you're trying to figure out how all of you can be working on a single CAD design uh, in a nice collaborative environment well Onshape can do that for you and it's free to use so just go to onshape.com sign up with an account and give it a try today it works uh, on any web browser, so any web browser can just go to there, and they have standalone apps for Android and iOS. So you can just download those and start working today. I love it. It is by far my favorite free CAD software, so go check it out. So I hope you guys liked what you saw, and you're going to go try it out. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this coming on the way. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.